As dog parents, you want to keep your fur babies happy and healthy, as well as give them what they want and need. However, the entire language barrier thing makes your dog's communication a little tricky to figure out exactly what it needs. But then, just because they can't communicate with words doesn't mean they don't communicate at all. In today's video, we will be telling you about the top 5 signs when your dog needs you badly. But before we proceed, I want to quickly introduce our Monku Dog app, where you can keep track of your dog's vaccination. Make dog friends, find pet services, and we'll help you become a more responsible dog parent. Links to downloads are given in the description box below. To begin with, the key question is, how does your dog reach out for help when he needs you badly? Well, your dog will definitely find a way to reach out when they need something from you. And the main way to go is their body language. Dogs use their bodies and behavior as a way to communicate. So let's check out the very first demonstrative signals. Excessive licking or grooming. If your dog is constantly licking itself, pay attention. Something is definitely out of place. Dogs when injured rely on their natural instincts to clean the wound. Check out the area of excessive licking or biting. Remember, just because you cannot see an injury like a cut or open wound doesn't mean your dog isn't in pain. In case the licking persists or you notice any additional signs of concern such as swelling, redness, etc., seek veterinary treatment immediately. The second sign on the list is destructive behavior. Most dog parents see destructive behavior as an attestation of a poorly trained dog. While this may be true for young puppies, adult dogs are often destructive to signal out their unhappiness. They are simply calling out for help in the only way they know how. If your dog is left home alone a lot, if you are not spending sufficient time with him when at home, or if it is not getting the required mental stimulation, your bored and stressed dog tends to show destructive behavior. Therefore, if next time it destroys a possession, instead of punishing it, try to address the reason that maybe it needs your help badly. Moving on, the third sign is whimpering, whining, and trembling. Whining is fine in vocal dogs. Even certain dogs whine more than others. However, if your dog starts whining, whimpering, or trembling for no apparent reason, it may be a sign of the dog being in some physical pain or due to a variety of reasons, including separation from you, need of food or water, or loud noises from storms, fireworks. Look out for the signs that could help you determine the cause of the whining. Only that way you'll be able to help your dog. The fourth sign on the list is constant tongue flicking or panting. Panting in dogs is normal. However, panting on an excessive scale is an outright indication of an underlying issue. Heavy panting in your dog is a worrying sign because of the following issues. That's why it's absolutely important to watch out for this sign. Similarly, tongue flicking can also be an indication of an issue. Commonly, it is a sign of underlying anxiety or stress, but it can also mean there is a health problem that you cannot see. Again, monitor your dog closely. Look for any other odd behaviors or signs of distress. If these behavior changes do not subside after 12 to 24 hours, you need to check in with your veterinarian. The fifth sign to look out for is pacing. Pacing outright is a sign of anxious behavior in dogs. Therefore, if your dog is pacing back and forth, it's trying to tell you that it's uncomfortable. Brief pacing periods are considered relatively fine. However, if the pacing extends for prolonged periods, well, that is a red flag, indicating some serious problem. Keep an eye on your dog and try to assess what might be making him anxious and thereafter remove that element from the situation to put your pup at ease. Remember, your dog completely relies on you. Just because it can't tell you when it needs you, it's up to you as a dog parent to pay attention to the signs and take the required action to ensure the happiness and good health of your dog. Thank you for watching. Drop your suggestion in the comment box below. And don't forget to create your dog's profile on Monku Dog App. Download now!